Yo folks and welcome to the channel. In today's video we'll be talking about a reroll guide for Alice Fiction, not to mention the best characters. Go into menu right here, go to delete player data. You're going to delete the data, delete the data and hit OK. Now you have a fresh account that is fully rerollable. So that is the quickest way to reroll your account. No, we're not going to use BS Tweaker. Just go ahead and hit OK on these settings right here. Tap to start and now you can get through the process. Now you're going to hit agree right here. Doesn't really matter. It's like the initial settings, right? The biggest things to note with Alice Fiction is that they are going to provide you the opportunity to skip all of the scenarios 1-1 all the way to 1-3 through the tutorial gotcha and I hit OK. I'm not going to show the process of going through 1-1 to 1-3. It's just a tutorial. You're going to collect skills and like be like, hey, this is how you match things in order to do a crash, this, that, and the third. It's really not that important. So we're just going to go straight into tutorial gotcha so we can talk about the best characters that you can reroll for so you can get the best bang for your buck when it comes to this video. All right, we're going to go to Alice Fiction right here. She's going to be like, hey, oh, welcome back. Or like, hi. And then we're going to go to the gotcha. And then it's going to be tutorial gotcha time. And there's going to be all sorts of cool waifus that you can collect. There are a couple of husbandos, but there's only one three-star husbando that's going to be on the normal banner. So this is what the summon animation is going to look like. It looks colorful, pretty, whatever adjective that you want to describe it as. We're going to do skip for the sake of speed and see this guy as the way and the ways this guy. I don't know. What the heck were you even saying? That confused me. That is not the character that we want, but we're going to look at her skills really quick. And we're going to talk about a couple of things that are important to know. Her skill right here, a flash of an ore convert up to a panel except own into regular panels. I think this is kind of important because any attack based character, there's going to be like attack buffing, debuffing type characters in this game. Conversion is the most important for attack base. So we got her again. You can see that's not the character that I want. We're going to go ahead and redraw. I know some people might have differing opinions like, hey, that one might be the best character, but not for me. This is also a good debuffing unit. You can get her on the offside. And some of you might be wondering, hey, can you get two, three stars from this initial reroll? No, you can't. Now, this is one of the other characters that I'm going to be recommending as your tutorial gotcha rerollable character. And the reason for that, Ascalipius, I have no idea why her name is that. She is going to be a recovery or a healer. Healers are just really nice and she can remove attack debuffs, which is really cool, and defense debuffs. Just note these are on her skills and her crash is going to be the thing that's going to be spammed. That's not really going to be like a heal, right? So you're going to go ahead and hit confirm, redraw. She's a good like person to reroll for or waifu in case you want to do so. The disease is a disease. That is the character that you want to see right there. And the reason for that is we're going to go ahead and look at her skills so you guys can see it. She's going to be providing some interesting buffs when you have a light unit boost status resistance. And then on her crash, you can see she does some damage and also provides a heal. So she's going to be doing that heal quite often. She can also do panel conversion, which I talked about was important. And she can also remove defense debuffs. I think she's one of the best characters. And if you can pair her with a water like sort of team, because that does like the crit resistance stuff, or if you can get a light team, we're going to go ahead and hit confirm because this is not the end of the rerolls. So once you do that, it's going to be presenting you with this information. You have to do this. I try to click out of it. It's going to be like, hey, you should really equip that character. I'm like, OK, game, I'll do what you're telling me because you know more. Not to mention, I have no control over this. So I was going to do optimize party. Thank you very much. You're going to go to home and we're going to go through one dash four because that is going to be a requirement. I know some of you might be wondering though, hey Bork, what's the rest of the reroll? There's going to be a longinus, longinus, I don't know how to words. The most important part is going to be a light base unit that's going to do heavy panel conversion and it's going to be really great for you to get. So now we're right here, even though we're, you know, not talking about the best characters and whatnot, you can see these are going to be the different elements and there's going to be counters like light, counters dark, wood, earth, fire, water. This, that, and the third, right? Very classic in that scenario. Get some learning while we are re-rolling. And this is tutorial success. We're going to go into attack mode. This is how you trigger like, you know, all the different things. I'm not really doing this. It's hard for me to like think and do like all the skill thingies, right? So we're going to do skill one. The most important part is if you match three colors together, you get a skill. And that's just going to be really nice. All the characters or enemy types right here are already dead. Deados get some skill animations. Let's go ahead and do animation skip so we can speed up this video and get more info flowing and going. We're gonna go to battle two 
And I also love the design of this game. We'll do first impressions and everything, but I just gotta say, I love this game. You can also do the skills. We're gonna go straight into attack mode. See right there, we get the level one skill. That's really good. Now we get a level two skill. We're gonna get a little bit technical with it. We can get a level two skill right here. And we're a little bit slower. Once auto picks up, it's a much faster, much better. Animation skips, doing the things. And we get a three ally combo wombo stuff going. And that's because of all the skills we casted at once. But this is like an overkill because the enemy's already dead. They don't have any HP. Love the animation of this game. I think this is going to be just one of the better games of 2022. Just based off of 2D animations and designs. Because there's just way too many like turn-based gotchas that don't have you thinking on your feet. But at the same time, it's going to be an auto game. So let's go ahead and click next so we can get to the best characters because that's what everyone's waiting for. You don't have to do 1-5. We're going to do this, the checky marks where it's like, oh yeah, look, free stuff. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Receive rewards. That's not really that much. I mean, it's a decent amount. Let's go back into home right here. Thanks, success. What? Okay, no more screens. Stop with the screens. Okay, back to home. Yes, yeah, give me free stuff. That's what we want to see, right? So we can reroll more stuff. A thousand free gems. Let's get it. Let's go ahead, close. A thousand free gems right there. Hit okay. And we're going to hit close. So you don't get those initially. Like go right here into presence, right? And you're going to do receive all. Now you have 12,000 or 14,000 free quartz which is absolutely phenomenal. That is going to be more than enough to get your sweltering amount of gacha characters. All right, so this is going to be the featured gacha. This is Bondo right here, Quin Chi Hong. He is going to be interesting. He has like some earth capabilities. For some reason, he doesn't have the convert panel ability. He's going to be a debuffing unit. He decreases special attack. And a lot of the units that you're going to be seeing are going to be using special attack. So you can reroll for him. Go into party right here, go into characters. We're gonna go ahead and overview her and she is going to be right here. I love her. Convert up to single ally panels times nine into regular panels for two turns, boost physical attack of self. She's gonna be one of the few units that's physical attack based, which is also really cool. And then she can also do convert up to two panels on her level scale one panels, all right? So that's gonna be really cool. And then her crash fever is gonna be doing some insane damage. I think if the AI does it right, where they're using the active skills appropriately, she's gonna be one to pay attention for. And not to mention, I also like Vivian because she has like this virus 100% chance to inflict. And I feel like that's just gonna be a good debuff to have. And she's also a water unit. And just note, we talked about earlier, but Long Guinness is going to be a light unit. And that pairs really well with the character that we've been selecting right here. Her, uh, what's her name? Hippocrates? We can't do like skill stuff, but her skills are centered around like water and light characters being on the team, right? There are going to be some other characters, but those are going to be the ones that I personally recommend at the initial rerolls. I think some of the two stars and one stars are really good. Like for example, this healer right here, she just casts the heal and she also removes all status buffs on her crash skill, which I think is just really cool. So it's just something to pay attention to. The two stars and one star is going to be viable. You don't have to just get three stars. But let's go ahead and go into home right here. You're going to go into gotcha. And like I said, the one character that I want to roll for... Oh, this is paid only? What the heck? Is this paid only too? Game, why? Don't do this to me. We get one free draw. Let's go ahead and see what we get right here. Can we get Long Guinness? Look, that's her name. That's the way I'm going to say it, okay? And there's a featured gotcha. Okay, what about the rare gotcha? Does this provide... Long Guinness is here with the same rate. So this is going to be the one I pull on. Let's go ahead and hit okay. Long Guinness, come home. We're going to go ahead and skip and see this. Oh, damn, we actually got a three star. Yo, the rates, not a lie. And this character is okay because, you know, she does the conversion tiles we talked about earlier. Go ahead and hit OK again. Let's do the skippies. And oh, we got the two star character that I wanted as a light unit. That light unit right there is pretty good as well. The one with the blue jackets. It's only gold. So obviously you can get a bunch of three star characters that are going to be really good to boost your accounts. I hope this time no one slips up. Dude, the rates on this game. I did what, like four pulls and I got, oh, I haven't seen you before. You're pretty cool. Archimedes. You have some skill conversion if you have it i'm all about it you don't have any panel conversions all right well she's still a good unit you know she does some damage and all the different things but yeah so let's say you're like oh no i don't like this account go into your home now that we're done with that go into the hamburger right here and they're gonna hit return to title in case you want to keep the account you can go to data transfer and put a password just for funsies 
and then you're going to go to return title screen and then you're going to delete the data of course you can link accounts so you don't lose any of your data as well but i think like the data transfer method that way is easy as well so you can do delete player data and you can go about your day those are going to be the characters that i recommend just a quick flashbacks on them in case we didn't see it earlier here it is, it's going to be Hippocrates, the water unit, or Ascalipius. She's going to be a good recovery unit. You can also pull Admedius. She's pretty cool as well because she's a light debuffing unit with some skill blinds that I find interesting. But Long Gynus, that's going to be a cool one. I also recommend Vivian for her 100% virus ability on her active skill. They both do some decent damage, so and they pair well with Hippocrates, who does heals on her crash skill. I just think that's cool. Not to mention, she can just do, you know, remove debuffs. Now you can see it's, I am jumping back into the game. As you can see, I hit agree. I was talking a lot, you know, I could have skipped a few things. This is easily a five to like eight minute reroll. And like you can see, it's going to be back in the tutorial mm -hmm. gotcha. It's really fast. But anyways, if you made it this far in today's video, consider subscribing, dropping a like, leaving a comment, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. Was it 35,000 subs to be doing a giveaway? Good luck on the rerolls. Hopefully the best characters the synopsis gets you flowing and going. I think the most important part is getting like those conversion panel abilities on different characters. That way you can cast more skills frequently, cast more crashes. And because this is like a matching style game, you know, that candy crush feel. And the better that you get at that or the more opportunities you can lay out the AI to cast those skills, the better off you are. And who do we get here? I'm just gonna, let's see if you were worth my sword. Have I gotten her before? By the way, these characters, I should mention it, Hippocrates, Ascalapius, Lancelot, Amadeus, and Musashi. Those are going to be the five characters that you can get on the reroll. I was rerolling for like at least 30 minutes to an hour on the initial free roll. I just wanted to mention that in case you guys are like, can we get another like different set of characters? The reason why I recommend Longinus in like that free gacha or that gacha mode is because I couldn't get her. And the only five characters I could get were these during, you know, the tutorial gacha. Just thought I'd mention that. Thanks and see you guys in the next one.